Hello for the last time for this series of lectures. This is the last micro lecture of the um, collection. I'm called a macro lecture just because it's big picture, but it's still going to be the same length. This one is the outro, so my goal is to kind of summarize what we've talked about, what you've learned, things along those lines. Uh, you still have the same products, three bullet points, one to two sentence summary, and the follow-up question. So we've been talking about the language of uniform motion. Uniform just means um, consistent. In this case, it's constant speed or constant velocity is what we're discussing. The big idea we were trying to begin approaching, we're not there yet, it's going to be ongoing for the next couple of units, is this idea of how to describe and predict the effects of pushes and pulls on something. Well, now in our effort to get towards that, we now have a common language to discuss motion. We can't quite talk about the effects of stuff yet, but we at least know what motion means or how to describe it a little bit better. Our unit focus was to describe, or before we can describe changes in motion, we need to agree on common ways to describe it. Um, like I said, we have a way to describe constant motion, and we can do that using distance, displacement, speed, and velocity. The collection focus was to really kind of differentiate between speed and velocity. We started with uh, talking about distance and displacements. That'll be clear why we did that a little bit later on in the next collection. Um, but then we differentiated between speed and velocity, talking about how one has direction, one has um, no direction, so the direction doesn't matter. So speed, no direction needed, just how fast are you going. Velocity, meaning how fast are you going, and specifically, what direction are you going. That's it for this follow-up. Sorry for the bad formatting on the pictures. You've got too many of them going on. Um, but you still need to do the uh, three bullet points, one to two sentence summary, and the follow-up question on the Google form. And then you can move on to the next collection where we talk about a little bit more about motion.